A major incident has shaken the city of Baltimore and captured national attention. A large cargo ship collided with the iconic Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, leading to a catastrophic collapse. But before we dive into today's video, take a moment to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our upcoming videos. The Incident This incident occurred on a day like any other, early in the morning on March 26, 2024, with at least six workers present on the bridge. Suddenly, the unthinkable happened. The bridge, a vital artery spanning the Patapsco River and part of the Interstate 695 Highway, was struck by the Singapore-flagged container ship Dali. The impact was devastating, causing a significant section of this three-kilometer-long structure to crumble into the Patapsco River, triggering a large-scale emergency response. The Dali, which was on its way from the port of Baltimore to Colombo, Sri Lanka, experienced a complete blackout and began to drift out of the shipping channel. Despite efforts to regain control, including dropping anchors as part of emergency procedures, the ship collided with a support column of the bridge at about 1.28 a.m. This collision caused the bridge to break apart in several places, with the main span falling onto the ship's bow and sections of the bridge jutting out from the water. The collision was immediately deemed a developing mass casualty event by Baltimore first responders. Two people were rescued from the water. One was unharmed, while the other was in very serious condition. There were reports of up to 20 people having fallen into the river, with six people still missing at the time. The U.S. Coast Guard called off the search and rescue mission for the six construction workers that went missing following the incident. Search and rescue efforts are currently underway, with teams working tirelessly to ensure the safety of everyone affected. The bridge, known locally as the Key Bridge, and celebrated as one of the world's longest continuous truss bridges since its completion in 1977, now faces an uncertain future. Impact on the bridge and vessel. It's pretty wild to think about how the whole thing just came tumbling down, right? The bridge that collapsed was a truss bridge, this means it didn't have any cables holding it up. Instead, everything you see above the road was designed to spread out the weight on the legs of the bridge, which go deep underwater. When one of these legs, or piers, is damaged, the whole structure has trouble. The bridge tries to reach the next leg, but it's too far away. This is because the bridge works as one piece. Every part is connected. If one part fails, it affects everything else. In the collapse, the central and southern parts of the bridge fell first. This was right where the damaged leg was. Then, the rest of the bridge also fell, all within 30 seconds of the collision. This happened because when one section fell, it put too much stress on the next section, and it kept going until the whole bridge was down. The dolly sustained hull damage above the waterline but remained watertight, and 13 of its shipping containers were damaged with two falling into the water. Fortunately, none of the containers that fell carried hazardous substances, logistical and economic impact. However, the closure of the bridge has caused significant disruptions. The Interstate 695 Highway, a crucial link for commuters and transport in the region, has been shut down as authorities assess the damage and begin to consider the path to recovery. Local officials and the National Steel Bridge Alliance have expressed their concerns and are in the process of evaluating the impact of the collapse. The community stands together during this difficult time, awaiting further updates as the situation develops. The loss of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, along with the damage to the Dali and the ensuing logistical challenges, underscores the critical importance of bridge and shipping safety. Investigations are ongoing to understand the cause of the blackout and the collision, with the intention of preventing similar incidents in the future. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get insights on issues that matter.